Hello YouTube, um, this is kind of a wide shot of my pickups I had in uh, my adventure in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. I normally don't do pickup vids, but decided to do it today. Sorry about the weird angle, but I'll have to get close to it since it's all kind of spread out. I'll move in over here. If you watch my other video, you'll notice, um, I'm trying to figure the best thing, I have an overhead light for glare, but... Um, I mentioned that I had four good games that I picked up at a flea market. Now, I'm not going to say what I did for everything, but this is the one thing I did want to point out. I paid $15 for Biohazard Battle, Street Fighter 2, Thunderblade 2, and Skies of Arcadia. All complete, all CIB, and all in really nice shape. I recently picked up that before for 15 bucks or 20 bucks alone. Um, in worse condition, so I'm kind of kicking myself for that. So, um, it's a very nice pickup, probably one of my best pickups for the weekend as far as price and everything. But, um, so that's that. Um, I've kind of gotten into the uh, shoot 'em ups, and so I'm trying to pick up as many of these as possible at really reasonable prices. Um, and the problem is they're fairly, you know, they tend to be a little more expensive, which is unfortunate because. They're a great genre of games. I'm not good at them at all, but I enjoy them. Here's a cart box of Turrican for the Genesis. Here's a cart box of Soldis for the Genesis. Now, some of you'll notice some of the boxes might have residue. I haven't got a chance to clean off the sticker residues yet, but Arrow Flash. This is CIB. Here, another shoot 'em up. Uh, Philios. This is a cart box as well. I normally don't do tons of cart boxes, but some of these, um, this Soul Dece Aero Flash and Philios was a thing from my friends, um, Steve and Catherine. They gave really good, you know, we had a real good, uh, trade going on. So, uh, Gain Ground for the Sega Genesis. Loose copy. Paul, my friend, uh, my buddy up in Lebanon just kind of threw this at me. You know, a little sports title. They're not worth much, but I'll throw it on my shelf anyway. And I did not have a Game Genie for the um, Genesis. Kind of odd, but it's nice to have it. Top Gear. I loved the first one on the uh, on the Super Nintendo. And so this is the sequel, and I think there's a third one. Like 2000 or something. Um, this is a play copy. I mean, it's a little... You can swap out Super Nintendo backs, but... This is nothing more to kind of play, so condition didn't bother me as much. Um, coming over here, here's four loose copies of uh, TurboGrafx-16 games. Um, Double Dungeons. Kadash. All these in great shape, mind you. Aereo Blasters. And lastly, Sonic Spike. Now, these are just a uh, couple empty cases. Most people don't care about them, but if you collect um, Turbo Graphics, these cases get to be kind of difficult to come by. And this one is, uh, 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 what is it, Dungeon Explorer. Now, I have this game, Instruction Manual, and um, card, but I don't have a case for it. So this is actually works out really good. Just any old jewel case will be the cover. And this one is China Warrior. Now, I already have a CIB copy of this game, so... Um, I'll actually peel this end off and then uh, put another game in it that I have instructions and card for only to give it a, a real jewel case. Now, I pick up, I also got three, you'll see there, um, TurboGrafx-16 controllers. Now, I already have one TurboGrafx-16, so that gives me a set of four, so I can get a four splitter for it. Now, I have a PC engine, but I just wanted to have some of each. Uh, Paul also gave me the uh, bad glare. Gave me the TurboGrafx-16 uh, code book. Pretty much, pretty cool. It's 260 pages. You know, secrets and stuff like that. He also gave me, and yes, you see it in the back. He gave me a control panel to a Neo Geo. How awesome is that? Now the wires have been cut. Is that a spoon handle? <laughs> I gotta pull that out. But um. Uh, he, the wires are cut, and if you kind of look in the back, I don't know if the light's good enough, but you can kind of see where they removed it. They just literally clipped it instead of unplugging the, the stuff, which is a little annoying, but, you know, Paul is so nice just to give it to me. 
Uh, he knew I was considering getting an arcade cabinet oven, I guess, for extra parts or to replace it or to see if I can even turn it into a, you know, a hand unit for a different system. But that's awesome. Coming over here. Exodus. The Unlimited for the Game Boy. One of the few unlimited titles for that system. Let's come back over here. Sorry, I dropped the game. Didn't want to step on it. Uh, there's Croc. Now, here's the greatest hits. Now, if you watch my PlayStation video, I don't know where I get these greatest hits, but for this, uh, this these two are to play. There's Croc 2. Um, I like platforming games, so uh, I just didn't care about it being greatest hits. Now, I'm also trying to complete my 64 set, so you can see where I've picked up different titles, you know, some of them more popular and better than others. Knife Edge, Tonic Trouble. Well, I better start at the top then. The Rally Challenge 2000, Dr. Mario, Paperboy, Duke Nukem Zero Hour, Tonic Trouble, Knife Edge, Buck Bumble and Rampage World Tour, Space Invaders and Bomberman 64, and MRC and RR64. Uh, you know, got to clean them up. You can see. No, that's nothing, you know, a little goo gone will take that right off pretty easy. But, um, I have a Saturn, and I did pick up three games for it. Sonic Blast, 3D Blast, Virtual Fighter 2, and Sega Sports. Now, I, I'd like to get some of the more popular, cheaper titles for the system. You know, CIB in decent shape. Um, around these parts, it's very difficult to find... Saturn games uh, at a reasonably priced. There's a, you, you find them occasionally, but they're generally a lot higher price than they're really worth. So finding them is kind of difficult. I did pick up two Sega CD games. The um, Sonic CD, which I've wanted for a long, long time. And I finally have a CIB copy of it. It's not rare by any means, but it's amazing. Sometimes the you know, most common titles kind of elude you. But yeah, that's awesome. And again, another sh uh, shoot 'em up. Now I believe the Alice Day series is part of the, like the Musha Alice Day. There's a whole group of them. So, and last but not least, I got my Double Dragon 2. This is a cart box. Now I'm trying to get the CIB games of uh, NES games that I had as a child. Well, I say just me. This. Actually, truthfully, this is one my brother requested when we were kids. Um, but any of the ones I grew up playing, I guess, in our household that we had. Um, my, my sisters got anticipation, so I ended up picking that one up for myself. But um, I actually have the instruction manual of the one I had when I was, you know, we were kids, so I'm going to put that in here and complete it. So, yeah, that was like five bucks, so I thought that was pretty decent. Um, and I'm trying to complete my, you know, my unlicensed nest set. Now, someone asked me, uh, PM'd me or posted, you know, what unlicensed games do you have? I'm, well, before this, I was 19 unlicensed titles away, and then the Aladdin carts from having a complete uh, licensed and unlicensed NES set. With this, this makes it 13, because there's six here, and uh, the Aladdin carts. And I do not count Myriad or NWC. Myriad, to me, is nothing more than a label swap label variant. It's, they didn't change the startup screen or anything, so I don't count it. Like, I don't count the yellow Metroid, which I do have, but I don't count it towards the set. And uh, NWC is nothing but a playable trophy. So, that being said, I got Solitaire. And this one's a little more, um, yeah, yes, that is not the camera. It's faded there a little bit and marked up on the label, but the price was incredibly um, good for it. Shinobi, got to remove a rental sticker or two. But that should look nice when it's all done. Baby Boomer. You know, cart's in good shape. RBI Baseball 3. And some of these titles, like RBI, as far as unlicensed needing at the end, it's kind of hard to believe that's one of the last ones I needed. Trolls uh, on Treasure Island. Top has a, ooh, I don't know if that'll focus. Has a little nick in it, doubt it will. And Ultimate Stuntman. I also picked up a little Coleco game, and I don't know where I set it down. It's probably in the luggage somewhere, so count a Coleco game in it too. But thanks guys for watching my pickup vid, and I'll uh, catch you guys later. See ya.